I don't know where they go with Street Fighter 6 though, because mm. I don't think they can release a bare bones game like they did Street Fighter 5 again. Yeah, um, it wouldn't it wouldn't fly. The competition The competition is too too um tough now. That applies yeah. to um whatever Bandai Namco decides to do for Tekken 8 as well. Like yeah. like the reason why Tekken 7 became as successful as it did was partially due to the fact that Street Fighter 5 kind of flopped and yeah. the limelight was open for the next biggest fighting game which was Tekken and uh, Tekken 7 played it pretty safe because Tekken 7 is really still Tekken 5 it's, it's been a very iterative like it's the opposite of Street Fighter every Street Fighter is completely distinct from the other yeah. Street Fighter um, you know to its credit I mean you know it, it's, it's a lot more work building a game from scratch rather than you yeah. know, building off um, your old game but yeah, Tekken's taken this iterative approach. Really, uh, can even argue since Tekken three, though Tekken four was a bit of a, its own thing, and uh, that meant that Tekken seven was at very least pretty solid. Um, though I'll say the initial arcade release in two thousand fifteen was hot garbage, but they managed to <laughs> bag it into shape for, tw- for the, the twenty seventeen console. Isn't that release. the Tekken classic though? The arcade release is like borderline unplayable due to balance <laughs> yeah. and then when it comes uh, out on console everyone's uh, like oh this is alright actually it, it actually wasn't due to balance like I remember when it came oh, out really? in 2015 it was it was just the input delay it was it, it, it there was uh, a native like nine frames of input delay it was <laughs> higher than Street Fighter 5 it was it was absolutely absurd because at that time uh, a lot of um, fighting games were being developed on Unreal Engine 4 and I'm guessing they didn't really know how to optimize their games on it. Um, same as the same issue happened with Street Fighter V, really, just um, yep. infamously. But it just it just felt unpl- like I couldn't block Law's Dragon Tales on Reaction anymore. And I thought, oh shit, I I'm middle aged now. I'm getting old. I'm too old for fighting <laughs> games. I should stop. Got gaslit into <laughs> thinking you're older than you are. That's fucked up. <laughs> right. Yeah. And then a few updates later, it's like, oh, I can I can block it again. <laughs> Damn you, Rana. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's one of the funniest things I've learned having like now picking up Tekken is how sensitive reactable and not reactable moves are and like where they exist on this like kind of specific numbers you know to like what should be reactable and what shouldn't be and as soon as that gets twisted in any way by like ps5 lag or bad monitors or whatever it's like oh cool this game is an entirely different game now oh and yeah that's uh, terrifying it, it really is because it's like i think there are some characters who are just flat out way better in an online environment or on console relative to PC. Like, a um, good example of this is, for example, is that traditional wisdom goes that Devil Jin is the best Mishima. And in a competitive setting, he absolutely is. He's so well rounded. He's got every tool. He's like the Mishima they've clearly designed for competitive play because he's the golden boy of the series. But any online um, metrics will show you that Heihachi is does the best online. And it's because na- like his his down back too, it's um supposed to be just reactable. Yeah? yeah. And um he even makes an audio cue, he goes hashish when he does it, which is supposed to tune you into blocking it. Online that's not as easy. It's really not as easy. It's yeah. borderline impossible. If you have a like a couple even a couple of frames, it becomes it goes from hard if you're looking for it, but possible. And if you block it, you kill him to probably, you're probably not going to do this. Um, and that transforms the character because Heiachi isn't supposed to have good looks. And that's that's like a design element I question, especially if they're so um, obstinate about their netcode, right? Like, Law's another good example. Like, I just brought up Dragon Tail, right? Like, that character yeah. is not supposed to have a power low. It's, it's his weakness not to have a power low. Yeah, he's supposed to have difficulty making comebacks, which is why they didn't give him a good rage drive. His rage drive is just his dragon tail, but blue. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> yeah, and um, yeah, I mean, you know, if if you block it, you can't. You know, it's it, it's you can't like launch punch it anymore. But he's barely low on health anyway, so it doesn't matter. But whatever, it's yeah. it's it's the worst rage drive in the game, arguably. But online again, like there's the meme about three bar law and. Um, it's funny because Law is actually quite hard to play online due to DSS cancels being harder. But Scummy Law uh, becomes, yeah, he's pretty, he's a threat now. It's frustrating. Yeah. 
Um, yeah, it's always hard to know where online practice in general sits. Where you, I, I had this, I remember having this real stark realization when I was like 17, I went to my first like big tournament mm-hmm. for ST. And I just played Balrog all the time, right? Yeah. So I'm playing online, playing Balrog. Online Balrog is a menace. Yeah. Um, you can't do anything about low rush. You just have to accept that you're kind of fucked. Um, and then I went to SVB. I can't remember which one it was now. And I played against, uh, I think it was Kunkster. And uh-huh. he just DP'd me on reaction. And I was like, oh, <laughs> uh-huh. fuck. Yeah. <laughs> this is going to work. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It was like, oh, everything I knew is literally not true about my character. Brilliant. <laughs> yeah, it's it's interesting, right? Because, and you know, this is, this is why, I mean, I guess so many people... Um, rightly pushed for rollback to be standard in all fighting games but yeah just um like games can radically change especially fighting games competitive games which you know reaction times are a huge element of it on a few frames of input delay hey thank you for watching and a massive shout out to our patrons we'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below and if you enjoyed the video a like and subscribe really help the channel out cheers all and have a good day.